Uh, hello. <clears throat> I am uh, Muhammad Kara from Turkey, uh, LibreOffice developer. Uh, I am going to talk about uh, a small hidden feature of uh, LibreOffice, which is not very well known. Uh, <clears throat> it was almost dead, uh, and I tried to resurrect it. Uh, I am going to tell you about the story. Uh, a little about me. I am from Turkey, currently uh, working on core and UI uh, as a software uh, consultant, software consultant, software engineer at Collabora Productivity. Uh, since December, last December, I was working at Pardus project before then. Uh, and I am also part of LibreOffice community. I am a LibreOffice certified developer and a long time GNOME comp contributor before that. And a uh, member of GNOME Foundation and the Document Foundation. Uh, <coughs> there is a uh, not very well known feature of LibreOffice, uh, which we call Mozilla Demos or Personas. Uh, you can find it with uh, tools, options, personalization, and lo load Firefox demo. Uh, it allows you uh, to apply Mozilla Firefox demos to LibreOffice and use them to uh, put some color into your LibreOffice installation. Uh, you can select pre-installed uh, demos coming with your LibreOffice installation. Uh, you can search online for uh, new ones from Mozilla DMS store. Uh, <clears throat> it changes background of main menus and toolbars uh, and heavily relies on Mozilla add-ons API and uh, web content. Uh, in the past, uh, there were uh, many issues about uh, personas. There still are, but uh, some of them are uh, performance and reliability issues. Uh, the code was, uh, implementation was error prone. Uh, there were unrelated in incomplete categories uh, on the dialog. And it was uh, constantly getting broken and needs fixing. Uh, and it was simply not working well and practically dead. Uh, <clears throat> let me tell you about a little about performance and reliability issues. Uh, a single search for a keyword for new personas was taking on a fairly good computer, my computer, uh, with a good connection, like 40 seconds. It's a huge amount of time because it just uh, searches for new DMS and displays previews, not uh, downloading whole DMS. It was uh, fetching whole HTML pages. Oh. Uh, how about now? Okay. Uh, it was fetching whole HTML pages while searching. Uh, and relying on the design and content of the HTML, so it was easily broken. Uh, it was uh, depending on multiple and repetitive string searches in HTML. It was uh, all writing existing data uh, each time you search, and uh, relying on some unreliable uh, library for download. Uh, <clears throat> this, uh, the one above is uh, demo categories of Mozilla Firefox. Uh, there are uh, like 15 uh, categories for, for Mozilla and uh, we had only six and uh, we, have a, we had a category called LibreOffice and there is not such a category. And actually, I have realized uh, after looking at the code, uh, they weren't even really categories. Uh, when you hit the button, 
it just uh, takes the word as a search term and brings up uh, the first uh, nine DMS it finds. Uh, fetch and download procedure was not reliable. Uh, on preview uh, <coughs> and hold them a downloads, uh, it was uh, giving errors all the time and failing. Uh, for example, you see a screenshot of uh, some errors, like there is a, a 403 forbidden error. Uh, but uh, when you copy and paste that URL into a browser, you will see that there is no error. It is there. Uh, it was causing multiple and duplicate bug reports all the time. Uh, and I don't know why uh, this library was uh, working or not working like this. Uh, let me show you some, some of code pieces causing these problems. Uh, this is the code piece uh, about HTML parsing with string search. It was taking the whole HTML content of uh, a persona page on Mozilla site and doing string search, taking the whole content as one string and searching inside it uh, for some tokens or keywords. Uh, and uh, it, it was uh, it was easily broken uh, as soon as they do some changes in design of their website. Uh, <clears throat> this is an example of that. Uh, for example, they changed some I think uh, encoding on Mozilla website. Uh, so. Uh, instead of some uh, encoding with lambda, they started using uh, regular uh, characters for some uh, specific character. Then it, it, our implementation got broken. Uh, fixing was <coughs> as easy as this. Uh, you see, just replace the uh, old character with the new one with a patch. But the problem is. Uh, it keeps broken, keeps broken all the time, and uh, you have to chase that all the time. <coughs> and <coughs> the implementation uh, wants all its content fresh. So every time you search uh, for a ser uh, search with a search term, uh, it brings, uh, it, it fetches uh, the search results. Uh, again and again, and for preview images of each demo, it downloads them, them again. For uh, if you search for the sa same term over and over repetitively, you will uh, every time uh, wait for 40 seconds for download of uh, each image. And the categories. <clears throat> I told you that uh, they were not really categories, just uh, hard-coded strings uh, used as search terms when clicked on the button. Uh, and uh, at some point, uh, because uh, we were getting a lot of bug reports, uh, complaints, uh, uh, we, we had a dilemma. <clears throat> either to keep it or kill it. Uh, the ones who would like to keep it uh, was uh, wanting to keep it because it was a little cute feature. Feature uh, it was adding personal touch to LibreOffice implementation, LibreOffice installation. It was giving the users. Uh, my own uh, product, my own LibreOffice feeling. Uh, there were thousands of choices for uh, <coughs> putting some color into your LibreOffice installation coming from Mozilla. Uh, users and designers were chasing. Uh, users were asking uh, for it to work and designers were uh, requesting uh, for patches. 
And we had a history uh, with that feature. Uh, I'll tell you more about that. Uh, and the reasons for killing it was uh, it was getting broken all the time. Uh, needs was needing to chase Mozilla API and web design changes. Uh, the same reason as keeping it, uh, users and designers were chasing all the time. Uh, <clears throat> and it was a headache for QA people. And there, were, uh, there was no developer to maintain it. But we had a history. Uh, uh, in the early days of my uh, LibreOffice development adventures, uh, th this was one of the first patches I sent uh, to fix personas. It was, of course, broken uh, again at the time because of some simple uh, URL change. So I fixed that. And it was too cute. I couldn't let it die. <clears throat> then we had a mission to make it work and to improve it, to make it future-proof. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, we aim to first fix the current implementation to have it working. So uh, lower down the uh, number of complaints coming. Then uh, start improving the under the hood mechanism and uh, prepare for switch to using new Mozilla API uh, and then make visual improvements to make it pretty and more usable. Uh, to make it work again, it was as simple as uh, just uh, replacing old characters uh, with the new ones. It was a simple page. Then it was working. Uh, somehow. Uh, then uh, I started improving the code under the hood to prepare for the switch to the new API. The old one was relying on some old uh, XML API returning uh, XML data. Uh, it wasn't working properly all the time. Even the API was not working, was not returning uh, the data we want all the time. Uh, the new one was uh, better. Uh, the old one was uh, just giving you URLs of uh, DMS when you search, but the new one was giving more information, complete information. So uh, we uh, would not need to go into each web page of DMS and uh, try to find information there. Instead, uh, in one request, we will have all data we need. Then I started with <coughs> some patches to make it. Uh, we, uh, I have re realized that there was a feature uh, allowing to embed default personas into LibreOffice. It wasn't being used, so we uncovered that. Uh, but uh, it wasn't uh, very good implemented, uh, implemented, so it was getting broken uh, if uh, you put more DMS uh, than intended. It was designed for six DMS, and if you put seven, it was crashing. First thing was, of course, uh, uh, to fix the crash. Then, uh, we started using slugs. Uh, slug is a unique name for each persona uh, to store personas. Uh, before it was, uh, each persona was being recorded with their uh, display name, and it wasn't unique. Uh, then we started using already defined constants for personas. Then uh, <coughs> put some code to remember URL of applied persona. Because uh, when you apply a persona, uh, you had only the images of the persona, no other information about the persona. You can't go back uh, where it was. Uh, you can't tell the user where it comes from or what its name is. Then uh, some patches to ensure consistency, 
and uh, separate download thread so it doesn't block UI while, while downloading. Uh, then uh, ensure that we, we don't re-download each uh, image and content every time. And uh, a <clears throat> relatively bigger patch to modernize under the hood search part, uh, search part uh, to switch to the new API and use JSON and the new structure we have, uh, we have been preparing. Then continued with uh, <coughs> handling uh, invalid URLs and search strings for personas. Uh, the dialogue was uh, so fragile that you could uh, crush it by putting some wrong uh, search terms. So we took measures for that. Uh, and dialogue was coming empty. Uh, in, although there was some uh, space for images of personas, uh, they were coming empty, so we made sure they are loaded. Uh, then we got rid of accent color parsing for personas. There was a uh, <coughs> property of persona uh, which was called accent color. We were parsing it, uh, recording it, and uh, getting rid of personas, discarding personas if they don't have accent color. But uh, I have realized that it was never being used anywhere. It was just stored. Uh, then we started using curl to download persona content. Uh, it became faster uh, and increased default persona number to six. Uh, <clears throat> then started some visual additional improvements. Uh, first, uh, we synced persona categories with Mozilla. So we now have uh, the same categories with uh, Mozilla, the same number and same categories. And they are actual categories, not just search terms. Uh, <clears throat> when you select a category now, uh, it uh, goes to uh, request data of that category and uh, displays uh, personas based on their uh, usage and download counts. Uh, then some more uh, small improvements, uh, visual improvements and UX improvements. Uh, now, so it works more fluently, more reliably. Uh, it catches downloaded files and doesn't overwrite each time. So it is much faster. On my computer, didn't check the uh, actual cycles, uh, but just a rough num number. Uh, it, uh, it went down from 40 seconds to 3 seconds to search uh, for a new person, a new keyboard, uh, keyword. Uh, and it is now easier to extend and improve the code. Yes. We have a metabug for personas. <coughs> uh, you see uh, the, in the, on the depends, depends on part, the number of related bug reports uh, are there. And uh, as you see, we have fixed more than half of them, but, uh, but there are still uh, bug reports uh, waiting to be fixed and uh, they also keep coming of course because uh, once it uh, started working uh, people started using it more and uh, of course they are finding edge cases uh, and reporting new bugs. Uh, you are welcome to check uh, and assign one of these bugs to yourself if you like. Uh, this is the new look and feel. You can feel it by following the <coughs> menu path and applying. Uh, we have pre-installed demos designed by, by uh, volunteers in our design team. Uh, you can uh, choose one of these. They come uh, pre-installed with your new LibreOffice. It will come with uh, 6.2. 
or you can uh, click select demo button and search for new demos from Mozilla site. Uh, this is the second screen. Uh, you come to here when you click the button. There are categories. Uh, it uh, it comes with feature, featured category preselected, and uh, the most downloaded ones are displayed. You can uh, select another category or uh, enter a search term. Uh, what's next? Uh, we need to keep fixing uh, and improving. There are already some design requests and uh, UX improvement requests from the design team. And uh, it, it still keeps uh, getting broken because of Mozilla API. Uh, it is better now, but it still ke keeps broken because uh, they change API uh, without notice. Uh, so <coughs> I am inclined to uh, put some more weight to uh, pre-installed DMS. And uh, there is a request, uh, a suggestion from the design and UX team to uh, make personas extendable with extensions. Uh, I am inclined to do, go that way, but uh, I also intend to keep it uh, working. Thank you for listening. Uh, any questions? Thank you.